Uh, take a look over these tabs, the engineer, you'll see our engineer Nick. He's responsible for operating the engine and getting you here safely today. So everyone, go ahead and give him a, give him a wave. Now this engine operates at 190 PSI, it produces 46,700 pounds of crack effort. It just might try as a PS1 class of 5 in the Southern Railway. But then we're going to have to some valves here and sliding valves that play with the motor to Southern valves here and piston valves and we'll eventually uh, with a super heating unit, a number of super heating units. Now does anyone here not know how a steam locomotive operates? Anyone? I'll tell you anyway. Anyone? 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 But there's a the cab which is on fire and the tank's shoveling about three to five tons of coal in bays of that firebox where it burns. On the uh, front side of the firebox is a series of tubes that run over the boiler called the flues. And the hot gas from the fire is going to those flues and then out the stack. Now surrounding the firebox of the flues is water. That water is heated up until it burns the steam, of course, and the steam, of course, is the Now when our engineer Nick opens the water, that steam is channeled out into these large cylinders that fit on the other side of the locomotive. It's how those cylinders, they want to push them. The steam is pushing on either side of the man. This is a turn of rods you see on the side of the locomotive base that's going in the driving wheels. And once that steam has been used, it makes really cold gas. It makes really hot gas. It's really smoke boxes inside the stack. And it's that exhausting steam that makes the trumpet sound you hear when you see a steam locomotive due to the vacuum, a partial vacuum it creates here in the smoke box. Now to line this table up with the correct track today, we still have to use the original antique method of eyesight. <laughs>
I remember standing out there watching the rotation and that's the time it's
Ricky.